Being able to get a program to do something is great and all, but unless you can give the program some inputs, the scope of things you can do is very limited. Things like mathematical operations or reading in a file obviously require some sort of input. This is where parameters come in. Functionally, parameters are kind of like variables, just with a different name. You declare them at the start of your method and proceed to use them throughout the body of the method. Suppose you wanted to make a function that added two numbers together. At the beginning of your function, you would declare two parameters, let's call them a and b, and in the body of the, your function, you would add these two parameters together. When you call the program, the parameters in the body would be substituted for the numbers you call the function with, giving you the desired result. So now we know how to give a function inputs that it can process to give us the desired results, but unless the function can give us back something, the whole thing is kind of pointless. This is where return statements come in. The return statement actually serves two purposes. Its first purpose is to make the function stop. If a return statement is encountered anywhere in the code, the current call of the function will exit. The other use of return statements allow the function to give us back something. Say we look at the previous example where we added two numbers together. If we added a return statement, the function could actually give us the result we wanted. A method that returns something can be used in different ways. Its return value can be put into a variable, used in basic arithmetic, or even be used as a parameter inside another function. This allows for very complex programs.